Good evening. Good evening to you. What is your name? My name is Paul Zerdin. Nice to meet you. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here. And what is your act? What is your talent? I'm going to do some ventriloquism. Ooh, I love that word. So hard to say. Ventriloquism. <laughs> yeah, you said it. You well. love to say that too. I can't say it say properly. It. Ventriloquism. Ooh, that was perfect. It was. <laughs> ventriloquism. 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 I see your lips moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that uh, a ventriloquist, uh, one America's Got Talent. I saw that Terry. It was fantastic. Terry Fader. I think he makes like a hundred million a year. In Vegas. So I hear yeah. in Las Vegas. Okay. Is that your dream? Yes. That's what is your dream? <laughs> to make a hundred million? That is more than I own at the moment. Let's yes. start with one yes. on winning this one. Okay, we can't wait to see it. Thank you. You know, you can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man in the sound check and make him think the microphone has gone out of sync. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome my friend, Sam. Sam. <laughs> so this is Sam Seller. Hello! Not me then. Oh my god, what the heck? Sam, here we are. America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent! Look, look, look! Who are these people? These are the judges. They're staring, it's rude! Staring! Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, they're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're looking at your mouth. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. Really? Yes, but you can't tell that way because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> and you wonder where the heck is the sound coming from? <laughs> So, um, tonight, tonight, <clears throat> tonight, 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 would you not talk when I'm talking? Don't worry, you're not that good. <laughs> now, hey, what? Look at the ladies, what? Mel! Hello! Heidi! Hi! Hello! Hello. <laughs> How about you two ladies coming back to my suitcase? That oh, is man. the luggage of love. You know, once you've had puppet, you never go back. Too <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise. Time out. That was too much. Oi, what? You want to come back out? No, I'm going to move on. Please let me come back out, please. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Look. Look. Seriously, seriously, stop it. 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 <laughs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you. I'm a grown man standing here on stage having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> That's all from me. You've been absolutely lovely. Thank you. Good evening. How are you doing? Shh. Why? Not so loud. Baby sleeping. Oh, you brought. Oh, it's bring. Oh, you brought. Really here. sorry. I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> Fantastic last time. Thank you very much. Why are we whispering? <laughs> now look what you've done. Sorry, be right with you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey! What? That mirror! What? That mirror's not working! Mirror? That's not a mirror! That, that's Howie! <laughs> Daddy! No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What? Story. What? I want a story. Well, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story. OK. OK. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. Yeah. This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood. 
being heard? Yeah, shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, a nasty one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that. Or... No, but it has to be. Don't like it. Okay. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck! OK. OK. It wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad, um, duck. Big bad duck? <laughs> yeah. No. Fluffy yellow duck. Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why? Well, because she wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. Doing what? You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. This is fun for the whole family. This is a big family show, and you're a big family act. How many other puppets have you got? I have, I have a couple more. But there's more to me than, than what you've seen so far. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to see your puppets. No, I don't. <laughs> Gosh. Well, I just think that your material is really, really clever, and you do make us believe like they're real there are really two people on the stage. You're very, very good. You know, you're a cartoon come to life. I felt like I was watching a great cartoon. You and this baby and this dialogue is so fabulous. You're gonna be a main contender. I mean, I don't think there's anyone sitting in this room right now who doesn't believe that you're not gonna be in the top five. It was wonderfully orchestrated. The joke telling was great. You'd made a grown man feel like he was a kid, and I just felt myself just laughing, and I felt joy. And I want that feeling, and I want everybody to feel that feeling of joy. So I love comedy, and I love you, so. compliment Marlon on his choice because I feel like we've got a great guy in you. That's such a talent. What a gift you have. Paul, you are now going straight through to Radio City Music Hall. For one, so I'm speechless now, and um, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all. <laughs> Oh, it just got real. I love that my guest judge pick a comedian. I, uh, come on, I love comedy. Yes. I know. I love it. <laughs> you still speechless? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm uh, totally speechless. That was just amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how exciting it is to be here at live at Radio City. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sam and I have had a bit of an argument, and he's not talking. Oh, come on, Sam. Look, this is embarrassing. There's no point me being a, being a ventriloquist if you're not going to talk. Well, you started it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Did, didn't. Did, did. Look, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't talk. Yeah, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't eat. <laughs> Listen, any more from you and I'll have to get myself a new dummy. Howie, you're wanted. <laughs> right. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. You're going back in the bag. I don't want to. What? I don't want to. I don't care if you don't want to. Get in the bag. I don't want to. I don't want to. Read your lips. <laughs> oh, look. What? There are people up there. Hello? <laughs> are you OK? Jump! Right, too far. What are you doing? No, sorry. That's just too far, Sam. I'm sorry. You're always trying to make me look stupid. Yeah, no, you need help. If you think you can do better on your own, then you're very welcome. I can. 
Oh, really? Yes, really. OK, well, this I have got to see. All right. Here's your microphone. There's the audience. <laughs> and there are the judges. Good luck. And don't get buzzed. Has he gone? <laughs> Look at this, I'm hands free. <laughs> yeah, New York City. It's the judges, the legend that is Mr. Howard Stern. How are you, Howard? I'm good. How are you? I am good, thank you, Howard. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you been drinking tonight? Absolutely not. No, then why the hell are you talking to a puppet? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Quick, he's coming back. <laughs> See how far you got? Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get caught up in the world of make-believe. He is, after all, only a puppet. <laughs> That's all from me. Good night. Thank you very much, Janine. How many of you here tonight are ready to enter the land of make-believe? Looks like Howie's already in the land of make-believe, which makes you the perfect person to join me up here on stage. Would you mind? Let's hear it for Howie Mandel, everyone. Yes, thank you. In your own time, Howie. I understand your logic. The longer, the longer you take, the shorter my act. I quite understand. Have a seat there, Howie. Tonight, live from Radio City, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. OK, now all you have to do... All you have to do is keep looking out there, all right? right? Let me do all the talking, OK? And I've got to say, that's a pretty good fit. <laughs> By the way, uh, this is Charlie. Are you OK, Charlie? Yes, thank you. First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something macho. Are you OK? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, it shocked me. It shocked me. I was only joking. Do you want me to change the voice? No, no, I like it. OK. I want to say hello to my fans. You want to say hello to this lot? Yes. Turn to the people on the right, give them a big wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nicely done. Now the people on the left, say hi to them. Hiya. And now the people right up the top, give them a big sexy hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you see them waving back? Yeah, idiots. Now stop touching me. What? Get away. What? Stop touching me. What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away. OK, all right, all right. Is that far enough? Perfect. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He's got a controller. He can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. You want to be an act? Yes. You go and judge me. You want me to judge you? Yes. Go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, <laughs> if you insist... <laughs> Hello, fellow judges. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. OK, so, um, I can't believe I'm a judge on America's Got Talent. So, um, what's your name? Well, my name is, um, my name, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> my name is Howie. Hello. Good evening, Howie. And what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you don't have to. No, no, I really want to. Yeah. OK, so do you have some moves you'd like to show us? Oh, yes. Let me stand up, first of all. 
Here I go. Okay. First of all, I'd like to stretch. I'm going to do some stretching. I'll just stretch my arms like this. And my legs like this. Okay, so now to business. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my twerking. <laughs> so, I turn around, I turn around, I put my hands on the seat, and I wiggle my butt. Um, is that it? Oh, yes. Hang on. Let me turn around again. Yes. OK, so that was fantastic. Don't make me laugh, though. I can't make you talk when I laugh. <laughs> so what are you going to do for your performance this evening? Tonight, I'm going to do some Irish dancing. <laughs> really? Naked. <laughs> I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So uh, oh. when you're ready, the stage is yours. Cute. The music. <laughs> Paul Zerny. Awesome job, everyone standing on their feet here in Radio City. Paul, you got them going, man. Heidi's still laughing, still clapping. Oh I take God. it you liked it. I mean, this was so much fun. My head hurts from laughing so hard. You are super clever and so much fun, and I love seeing Howie as a puppet. And I'm sure he appreciates it that you didn't put your finger up his, you know, who to do it like you usually do with your puppets. No, this was <laughs> hilarious. Thank you, thank you very much. Melby. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think I've laughed so much and so hard. You're brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant, Paul. It's so happy. So good. And you know what? <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> Well, Howie, would you like to respond to that? Sometimes people aren't what they look like. I have, I have no idea. You humiliated me. Howie, you were... But I, but I hear I was fantastic. You, you, were, you were absolutely... You, you were the perfect dummy. By You're the still way, judging, aren't you? By the way, you know, this, I have to say, yes, you will be the fifth act of the night to go through. I've been handicapping all night. You are hands down fantastic. You will probably win this entire show. I really mean it. Every time we have seen you, you come out and you surprise us because your puppets are always original each time. And the voices are original and you're a master ventriloquist. I love you. Wow. Thank you very much, Janine. Great to be back here. This is Sam's grandpa, Albert. Albert, say hello. Albert, say hello. Sorry, he's very deaf. Have you got your hearing aid on, Albert? Is your hearing aid switched on? Is your hearing aid on? Have you switched your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid switched on? Yes. Great. What? <laughs> Let me have a look. What's the ma oh, hang on, what's this? Albert, what is that? That was in your ear. What is it? No, what is it? Looks to me to be a suppository. A suppository? Oh, no, at least now I know where my hearing aid's got to. Do you know, I wondered why my butt was whistling earlier. Albert, what are you doing? Just turning it down. Stop it. It feels good. Stop it. Where are we? Sam, uh, Albert. Yes, it's Albert, you idiot. Yes, it's Albert. We're at Radio City. Radio City, who are they? They are the judges. Oh, I like her. Who's that? Hello? That's Heidi. Oh, I like her. Albert, don't be ridiculous. Hi. You're 85 years old. Ah, oh, yes, then I can give her something you younger men can't. And what's that? A good night's sleep. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I hope he wasn't a nuisance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, would you take Albert? I think he needs his medication. Oh, I like you. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you all right? <laughs> song and sing song. Haven't got time for a song. Sing song. Okay. All right. All right. If I sing you a quick lullaby, you promise me you go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> go to sleep, my baby. My baby, my baby. Pathetic. <laughs> Would you please ignore him and welcome back my friend and hopefully yours. Yes, it's Sam. Sam, I thought tonight would be a lovely idea if we did this little trick. Just uh, watch me. Hmm? Watch me. OK, tonight this is where the ventriloquist swaps voices with the puppet. A very difficult, dangerous trick for a ventriloquist to attempt. Vocally very challenging and generally pretty tricky. You can really feel the tension. OK, for this to work, you've just got to do anything. You've just got to keep talking. You could do the ABC. Oh, yes, I could, yes. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, yes! If this was Sesame Street! <laughs> you dummy! You speak for yourself. I wish I could. Just do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. Normally they applaud there. Not tonight. No, obviously. No, no, it's too late now. No, no. It's too late. Stop it. Should I swap them back? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Oh. <laughs> OK, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quick. Shh. I've got it. Good. Now what? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, poo. Where's my voice? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. Help me, please. Somebody help me. I'm down here. Please. Somebody help me, please. Help me, please. <laughs> You're talking out your... Ah, oh, Zerdin, Zerdin, there you are. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all I get? 30 seconds in your little puppet show? Shh, you'll wake the baby. I don't care. Shh. <laughs> What you done? Shh. Are you shushing me? No. He's shushing the baby. I'm not shushing the baby. I'm shushing you. Don't you shush me. I will shush you. Uh, me? No. Uh, yes, shush. In, in fact, all of you, why don't you just shush? Hang on. Why don't you shush? Yes. Why don't you shush? Hang on a minute. Why should I shush? Because you're the one doing all our voices. Yeah. 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 Yeah? Well, in which case, good night. Quite amazing, Paul Zerny, having several conversations with his crew. Mr. Mandel, talk to him. Well, Paul, you know that I absolutely love you, and you can tell by the, uh, the reaction here that America loves you, the theater loves you, the, you know, and, and I love the technology and the fact that you have this remote control, and I love what you did with me last week. If there is one thing that, just a little bit that I feel, it's that the, there's not a vast array of different, difference in your voices. It sounds like you have one voice. What about nine? That's the only thing that bothers me, but otherwise, I love the act. Thank you. Howard. Well, I think this is the final, and there's a reason Paul breathes through every single time he came on, because he is a master at what he does. In the same way that painters can be great, singers can be great, here's a guy, as I've said before, he's taken the art of ventriloquism to new heights. You don't see his lips move, you believe his characters, and he even tonight showed off a bit all of his powers by bringing all of these characters on stage at once. We've seen a real master at work. Hi. Tonight was great and probably the hardest for you because you had to swap voices between four different characters, including yourself, and you really pulled it off. Oh, great thank job. You. Thank you, thank you. Mel B. You know, you are already a well-polished act. You're flawless, and I hope America votes for you, because I think you're great. Thank you. 
Thank you very much indeed. So, Sam, we are finally here. It is results night. Yeah, lots of good-looking people here tonight. A lot of good-looking people here tonight. And some ugly people here. What look? What you? What you are ugly. You what? You're nasty-looking. Don't tell me I'm ugly. Why didn't you know? I think you should say you're sorry. Mm, say you're sorry. What? Say you're sorry. I'm sorry you're ugly. Now, hey, well, I love this place. Look at it, it's enormous. Hello, 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 you're making me look stupid. Yeah, I like you need help. Don't ruin our chances of winning this. Yeah, right. Like a dummy could ever win this show. Funny you should mention that. Would you please welcome winner of season two? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Terry Fater. <laughs> Paul, I got to tell you, I am a huge fan. Paul and fan. Oh, this is uh, uh, Elvis impersonator Maynard Tompkins. Paul and fan. I gotta say, we are big fans of yours. Oh, we are huge fans. You are the master. So, uh, how is your uh, ventriloquist Maynard? Wait, he's a ventriloquist. I just thought he was a really bad proctologist. How's your ventriloquist working out for you, Sam? Oh, he's okay. I suppose it's okay because he does at least wear a glove. <laughs> so, uh, Maynard, do you, uh, you gonna do us some Elvis? Well, he's an Elvis impersonator. Uh, do, you, do you know any Elvis songs? No, I don't. Wait, Sam, Sam, do you know any Elvis songs? Mm, mm, mm. Wait, I got an idea. Hello, Mr. Ventriloquist. Yeah? Do you think you could sing like Elvis without moving your lips? Yes. Then do it. <laughs> Wait. You know, that's going to look weird. No, it won't look weird at all, because while you're doing that, I'll do this. I'll go like this. I'll go. So you're going to lip sync? Yep, I'm going to be just like Britney Spears. Okay, wait, that's... I, um, wait a minute. So I sing, you move your lips. Do you think that'll work? Oh, yeah, Terry, I've been watching the judges. They won't know the difference. Okay. Love me tender. Love me sweet, never let me go. Good job, dear. You sound really good. <laughs> you have made my life complete, and I love you so. <laughs> love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. Sam, you gotta try it. It's really fun. Oh, my darling, I love you, and I always will. You know, ventriloquism, it's an amazing thing, and I love being able to do it because everything in everyday life now talks. All over the world, you have the talking elevator. I like to go into an elevator that doesn't talk and pretend it does. And the busier the elevator, the better. In I go. Doors closing. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> Going up. Get out, fatty, you're too heavy. <laughs> and this is my favourite bit. Cable detaching. <laughs> you know, being a ventriloquist, you can also have a lot of fun if you get yourself a puppet. Zedin! Speak of the devil, would you like to meet my friend? Yeah! yeah. Then please welcome back my friend Sam. Oh, we love Sam. You won with Sam. Woohoo! Hello! Hi. I said hello! <laughs> well, this is fantastic. Where, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are we? Well, we're on America's Got Talent. Yes, America. Wait a minute. What? We won America's Got Talent. That's right, and we're back. We're doing it again. Yes. What the hell went wrong? 
No, 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 this is the champions. The champions, yes. Oh, you better have something special, Zerdin. I think I have. You know how he always says, you've got to up your game. Yes, that's right. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I think I've got something very special. Yes? Yes, I've got a little ditty. <laughs> Should they know this? It's it's not what you think, just watch. What, you did he? No. <laughs> watch my face. Here we go. <clears throat> Too close. Here we go. That's great, they love that. Wait. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. No. No, what I want you to do is to hum the ditty. I don't want to. <laughs> just do it. Oh, all right. <clears throat> It's not working. Wait. What we do now, okay, while you do that, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna do a beatbox drum beat. A what? A beatbox drum beat. So I'm gonna go. Okay? And we're gonna do it at the same time. Oh, um, wow. Zerdin? Yeah. Can I have a word? <laughs> what? We're not gonna do it together. Why do you say that? Because it's not possible. I, I believe it is. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. I'll start. You follow. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Great to be here. It's great to be here on Champions tonight. On Champions tonight at Wembley. At Wembley. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Oh, don't start all this. Oh, don't start all this. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, he always does this. You know, he always does this. He will stop. Eventually. <laughs> What's got into you tonight? Your hand. Look, this me. Look, we're in front of the judges. Look, there's Simon. Yeah, there's Simon. He's alive. He's a lord. He's a legend. There's Amanda. There's Amanda. She's cool. She's calm. She's collected. There's Alicia. There's Alicia. She's wise. She's witty. She's wonderful. And there's David. Yes. And... <laughs> What? Don't laugh, I can't talk when you laugh. <laughs> and if I didn't talk, there wouldn't be any laughs. Oh, oh I beg to differ. Oh, I beg to differ. You know, I don't need you. No? No. I think I could be funny without a puppet. You're not funny with a puppet. <laughs> oh, I said you're going in there. Make me. What? Make me. What? Make me. OK. No, hang on. What? David looks quite handsome this way up. That's it. You're going in there. No, no, please, no, please. Please, no, no, Zerdin, please, come on. You're making me look stupid. No, you need help. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Please let me come back out. No. Don't stop. Please let me come No. Please. No. Listen, if you don't let me come back out, you're going to get it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It's a threat. Oh, I'm really scared. You will be. <laughs> You know, I don't need a puppet to be a ventriloquist. No. No. All I need is one of these. What's that? It's a microphone. Do you know what I'm going to do with this? I know what I'd like you to do with it. <laughs> I'm going to do my jokes. Oh, be careful. Excuse me? Well, it's not as easy as I'll make it look. You what? In comedy, there's certain things you can't talk about. You've got to be politically correct. Politically correct? I know what I'm doing right. There are these two Irishmen. No. Excuse, Excuse me? Oh, you can't say that. What? Well, why not? Racist. <laughs> right, my mother-in-law. Now there's a no, no, no. What? Sexist. <laughs> or this big fat bloke. Sizist. <laughs> my grandmother. Ageist. <laughs> David Copperfield. Illusionist. <laughs> oh, funny, isn't it? Look, you're ruining this. Pessimist. This whole thing is going downhill fast. Tobogganist! <laughs> I need 
don't you get stuffed? Taxidermist. <laughs> You're on fire tonight. Arsonist. <laughs> so no jokes then. What am I going to do? Ventriloquist. <laughs> You've always got to have the last word, haven't you? No. There you go again. Anyway, why is it always what you want? What do you mean? Never what I want. Well... Aww. What do you want? You know what I want, Paul. I want to become a real boy. <laughs> Sam, we've been through this. It's, that's never going to happen. Look, we'll talk about this when we're alone. You're going to talk to me when we're alone? <laughs> and how long have you been single? Don't you believe in magic? No, Sam, I don't. Frankly, no one is going to come along, wave their arms in the air, and say, You've always lived your life as a toy. From this day forth, you'll become a real boy. <laughs> that was weird. Um, Paul? Yeah? I think you better take a look. No. No way. Come true. Look, Sam, you're a real live boy. Shut it!